hello everyone my new video is uh, related to the serial converters uh, especially i made it for the industrial solutions but i keep a very simple example here uh, first of all i would like to explain you that if you are using a moxa input serial converter uh, for uh, some and application purpose like uh, on the right side as you can see that we have one router uh, which have a serial uh, uh, interface rs232 port and you want to use this uh, uh, serial to ethernet ip converter over the network so what happened in actually in this tcp server scenario for example if i have a data collection server or if i have a some kind of a software or i have a some kind of a database which is uh, installed on one com main computer so this one guy in this uh, example as you can see this guy is trying to initiate a connection to the router using a tcp socket application but uh, what happens actually in this case the end port is listen for the tcp connection as you can see on the right hand is mentioned that your socket program actively connects with remote site so this guy will initiate a connection from a tcp ip site to a serial site okay and this n port on n port it listen for the tcp connection so uh, in my case actually i don't have a some kind of a card reader or don't have a plc with me but i am using same switch uh, to simulate this uh, console uh, uh, console example so what i will do i will uh, i am connected to i have one pc which is connected uh, to this ethernet converter and this uh, from ethernet converter this uh, ethernet port is directly connected to my pc and from serial side it is connected to switch console so this uh, i'm going to simulate the same example so for example if you have a some card reader or if you have a some machine attendance machine or whatever normally in the office we have it locally stores the attendance record system or uh, okay so what happened is this uh, data collection software and this guy this network id guy what it will do actually it will generate a tcp ip connection for, uh, it will generate a tcp session to this card reader machine and it will try to fetch the information like configuration the attendance record and timing for all the employees or sometimes in this third example you can see this plc we have some kind of a plc and there is one guy which is uh, connected over the network and it have a serial connection to this plc so this plc is data is not that much important so we are just uh, uh, locally storing the uh, information on the plc memory and maybe for some concerns we required uh, to take the backup or we want to retrieve the values from this plc so in this case you can also use the same and put uh, serial converter so what actually happens the guy who's uh, having this uh, uh, this application software installed on the computer it will create a a tcp session for example for the console or maybe he is trying to have in second example for this uh, to fetch the value from this card reader or attendance machine or maybe this plc he wants to retrieve some values or some information so he can use the same application using the tcp server mode okay so in this example also i am mentioning again that the socket program will actually uh, actively connects with the remote site means someone we need must to initiate a connection to the end device okay we need someone to actively connect with the end device so this guy this it technician or it administrator uh, he will actually initiate a connection to the switch and the switch will provide him a console session okay so i am uh, using uh, this n port converter as a tcp server port and i am connected to the switch uh, and i will show you how it is working and i will verify you at the end uh, all the verification and configuration steps to you so first of all let me show you that uh, my lan card ip address as you can see my lan card ip address is 1137.70 okay and uh, uh, i will run this utility 
uh, I will just uh, search again uh, okay as you can see the device is discovered and uh, this DSU device searchability you can find it on the Moxa website you can download it for free if the device is locked as you can see now it is an unlock state if the device is locked so to unlock the device the password is MOXA Moxa then right click and I will take you to the console session console mean the GUI axis okay so let me take you to the web browser and I will show you the configuration on the web browser how to apply the configuration so as I earlier mentioned that I don't have any serial PLC or card reader or something I have one switch so I am trying to simulate the console session using the TCP server mode okay so if you want to change the IP address you can change the device IP address okay and my PC IP and the serial converter is on same subnet so I'm not going to change if you want to change if you can change it according to your requirement and serial interface the serial switch that I have it's uh, have a baud rate configured with 115200 and I'm using RS232 port okay if you have some 485 or 484 wire or 222 connection so you can choose the serial parameter but in my case is RS232 okay and you can set the database parity and flow controls now I will change the operation mode for the serial side so uh, uh, I will show you again uh, I'm going to apply the configuration for the serial interface here okay so I will change the mode of the operation mode of the serial interface to TCP server mode okay and the rest of the things I will just keep it as default I'm not going to touch anything and even the local TCP port I will keep it as 4001 and command port is 966 so I'm just only going to change the mode and I will just click on submit you can uh, change the parameters according to your requirement so I will just click on submit save and restart and I will just click on back so the device uh, is rebooted okay let me take you to the home page again and let's verify the configuration has been saved or not serial I will show you 115200 RS232 and operation mode I have set it to TCP server mode okay and uh, we will just go to line as you can see the TCP mode is uh, in the listening mode okay as you can see it is uh, only one listen if you want to change the listen you can just change the value here maximum connection it support up to four so I'm just using one connection okay and as you can see there is no more values so what I'm doing I'm going to use the Moxa proprietary utility which is known as a PCOM terminal emulator and I will initiate uh, uh, in this uh, the, this PCOM utility is actually installed on my PC okay and I will initiate a connection for the console to this switch so let's verify you have to choose the mode as protocol mode as a TCP and terminal uh, you have to set it to VD100 and here you have to destination IP so destination IP is uh, 192.168.127 dot 254 and uh, I will show you the port number again as you can see the port number we have set here is 4001 so I will set the port number to uh, 4001 okay 4001 this is my end port IP address as you can see here in the browser 127.254 and I will just click on ok as you can see the status is connected ready and I will just hit enter I will just uh, as you can see it's prompting me for the username and password so my end switch uh, username password is admin and uh, password is moxa as you can see I got access to the device which is connected to uh, connected to my serial interface of the converter and uh, I will show you the output as you can see I have an active connection from my PC 127.70 this is my PC IP address and if I take you to the async as you can see the hit count for the TX and RX has been changed okay so as you can see I have an active connection so my TCP uh, server mode uh, application is successfully configured and I am able to make a console connection 
this is uh, i have this is what i uh, this is why why i use this uh, application mode of the sit because i don't have a card reader and plc with me so uh, to simulate the setup and to verify at the end i use a very convenient example again i am explaining you that you need a socket application which will actually connects with the remote side okay so in this scenario you can set the mode of n port serial converter to tcp server because our application is uh, connecting to the end host okay this is uh, actively connecting to the end host okay guys thank you for watching my videos please kindly like and subscribe if you have some question please kindly comment i will get back to you thank you bye